So today I'm talking about a P0500 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0500 code? Well, it's a vehicle speed sensor A. And what does this mean? It will basically vehicles have a speed sensor that's reporting to the computer how fast the vehicle's moving and the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. You know, one thing to note about these vehicle speed sensors is that there can just be a single sensor. There could be multiple sensors. It's really going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model on exactly what's going on with the vehicle. For example, sometimes there's just a single sensor located on the transmission and the computer's using that for its information. And then on some vehicles, the computer's using the wheel speed sensors, since there's a sensor located at each wheel, and it's just using those as the vehicle speed sensor. And then sometimes there's both. So like I said, it's going to vary. It's a good idea to get a diagram of where all these sensors are located on your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But basically the computer's using this information to know when to shift the transmission for the speedometer, the ABS system. Again, it can't vary what information the computer's using for what, but it's very common for it to be using that information for those things. But when you get this P0500 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with that sensor. And so it's going to be diagnosed to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0500 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad speed sensor. And depending on the vehicle, this is either going to be like a bad wheel speed sensor or a bad speed sensor located on the transmission. Like I said before, you're going to have to do a little research on your vehicle, get a diagram where all these sensors are located and what's going on with what. Because the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad speed sensor. So if it does happen to be a bad wheel speed sensor on one of the wheels, usually you'll get another code. For example, if you also got like a C0035 code, right rear wheel speed sensor circuit open or shorted, then it's a good idea to go check out that sensor and be sure that it's working correctly, that it's good, because very likely that's the problem. If it is located on the transmission, there's some other ways to go about testing that sensor. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that's going to cause is that a speed sensor has gone bad and it just needs to be replaced. The next thing that's going to cause this is the wiring going to the speed sensor. If there's anything wrong with the wiring, there's an open, there's a short, there's a blowing fuse, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. And so if you have a multimeter, you can go test the wiring. You can get a diagram of schematics for your particular vehicle to know which wires are going where. And basically just go through and be sure there's no open, short. Be sure to check for any blowing fuses, things like this, because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of problem with the, one of the computers, like the engine control module or, or the powertrain control module or the transmission control module, something like this. And this isn't too common. This is fairly rare. Usually when you get like a P0500 code, it's going to be some kind of problem with the speed sensor or something inside of the wiring or something like that. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with one of the computers. If you do think it's some kind of problem with the computer, be sure the battery is good. Be sure the alternator is charging correctly. Be sure all your battery cables look like they're connected good because all these computers, they need a good stable power supply or else it could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. They also need a good ground going to them. But like I said, it's fairly rare for some kind of issue to be going on with the computer, but it does happen sometimes. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0500 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. This video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.